Hey everybody, Bearded Serpent back again. So, my roof is done. Three coats of Hangs rubber roof coating and it's solid. I'm not happy so much with silicone. It's supposed to be clear, but there are some white spots. See how some of it is clear? But some of it is white, probably because I stuck too much on up underneath there to try and, you know, close up the gaps. Windows too, around the windows a bit. I'm gonna give it a few more days. Uh, it's been drying for probably two days now. And uh, we'll give it a couple more days and see if it goes away. There's the front. Away from me, B. Like my shirt. Cat dad. That's because I have six. I'm, I gotta get one that says Yorkie dad though because of my little prim prim. So anyway, so yeah, love how it's coming out so far. So there's a little better view of the front here. I've got like three or four coats of spar urethane on the pickets and they're nice and smooth. Everything is sealed pretty good. And like I said, if I can't get this white to go away from the sealant, the uh, silicone, supposedly clear silicone, I'm just going to dab it with uh, some more of my red paint because I've got plenty of that left. I even sealed, put some of the uh, spar urethane on the stairs and it came out good. Hey folks, so I'm doing some finishing touches. And there was a comment about beefing up the anchor points. So I took a two by six and spread it across where, now this is the little door that I'm going to have to be able to reach out for the front anchor points to be able to tighten the turnbuckles. And so I took a two by six and I put four screws in up into the the frame there and hopefully this will be long enough for the two turnbuckles I bought. I may have to buy some shorter turnbuckles, I'm not sure. But I did it on both sides in the front corners because my anchor points are there and there. And and I did it on this side too. Next I'm gonna build little doors so that I can to close off these holes for the uh, you know the where I can do the tightening. Now, if that doesn't work, if these anchor points don't work, then this is the only other anchor point I have is down here. So I'd have to loosen this. Now that's what I'm also gonna be doing for this. So I gotta get some of those star wrenches. I think I have some to be able to loosen this so that I can uh, put in my other, the other piece for the front. See, now this is the turnbuckle setup I have for the ones up front. So basically this would go into a heavy duty eye hook underneath and then it would hook up, up like this. And then it would hook up to the truck here with the, with the car carabiner. So that's how I'm doing the front. And then, the back, I'm basically taking these heavy duty eye hooks as well and screwing them into the side of the truck or the side of the camper. And then this will go, will lock from here to here and then I will screw this back in. And I saw this one on Brando Conklin's page, uh, his build, and it's a great idea because there's, unless you have this exact star bit, you're not gonna get these off, you know, I mean. And the camper, I don't have an exact weight, but it's definitely under 500 pounds. So two of these at 250 pounds each should should be plenty. And the, the blue carabiners I have, those are rated for like, I don't know, four or 500 pounds. So I bought these online as well. Those I bought at Home Depot, I think, but yeah.
So guess what I got in today? Air conditioner. Yay! And my new teeth. Yay! <laughs> I can finally eat and they snap in and it hurts getting them out right now because I'm not used to it. But I'm just sitting in here just to see uh, if it cools down. Obviously it's going to. Um, yeah, so I'm so happy. We may actually be taking this to Talladega depending on all this weather stuff that's going on, if we even get to Talladega. Uh, it's, I still have a couple pieces of fabric to do up here and over there and up there. But this is my fabric. I know, it's kind of odd, but I don't know, it's got this homey feel to it, like cabiny almost, so. Um, I do still have to finish making, or I gotta make those little boxes. I measured one and I cut it and sanded it, but I think I caught up doing something else. So, yeah, maybe tomorrow. Okay, got the AC, happy about that. So I was putting the air conditioner in and hit my head right where I had the cancer removed. So it looks like I got a dent again. So um, I finished a few things. I put a little bolt lock, I drilled a hole in the floor right there, put a little bolt lock there. Now my that door for my extra storage does not come up. I finished the, or, oh, I built two frames around the windows. Out of molding actually <laughs> extra that we had had for years from our house I don't have any um, fabric down there but that's okay because this the uh, bed is going to be blocking most of that got all the fabric done and down here I don't know if you guys can see it I made the little doors to cover the uh, holes where I did, where I put for the, um, to loosen, tighten and loosen the tie downs. So yeah, did the little doors too. <laughs>